hey guys how are you uh today i'm making a video on step by step how can you get the interior templates for free on amazon and be able to write your book i've been talking over and over about how writing books is very simple so today i'm going to show you how you can be able to transform your microsoft word document which i've written to be as a book what i mean is this is one of my book which is a true memoirs of the scholarship guy as you can see but this is a print proof how after printing the book will look like this way so uh i'm going to show you uh the templates what i mean by template i mean like the words they will be printed on these white parts and make sure that these words cannot go to exceed on the sides how can you make sure you have your book and be in that kind of way like this way you see all the words they are in this way there is no any word exceeding and even when i put the image it will not go over like you see the image will not go over this is how i want to explain it to you on how you can get these kind of templates because many people they think that uh, writing books is very complicated you have to need to have a lot of money and a lot of, a lot of ways and you have to hire people to do things for you I do everything on my own and I want to show you the first step when you want to write a book is to get the templates. By this template, this is the uh, the true memoirs of the scratch guy itself, this PDF, but this is the book itself. So what I mean is when you open my book, you can see uh, words cannot exceed, they cannot, there is a proper line automatically to be this way. So this is what i mean so how are you able to convert the normal microsoft word you have written to be into the interior templates not to exceed to be into this kind of way so that is today's topic i want to make sure that you are able to get these templates and as i said these templates you get them for free on internet so that you can be able to do everything on your own so let's go to the steps on how you can be able to get this one you go to the google search and you write create space interior templates if you tap on the google i already typed so i just want to show you so this is interior create space interior templates so Creative Space is one of the company used it to be a subsidiary company of Amazon, but now they merge it together. So it used to be you can publish it through Creative Space, you can publish it through Amazon, but now you have to publish it through Amazon. So Creative Space, all the books which were published by Creative Space have been merged to Amazon. So once you create Creative Space into your templates and search, there will be so many search uh, results will be finding them. As you can see, uh, those are always this one so come to the one which is after being merged with amazon previously it used to be you go direct to the community uh, then you get it but nowadays because after being merged you come to the paperback manuscript templates amazon kdp kdp i will come to explain in some of the videos as you can see here i put self-publishing uh is kdp with amazon is kindle direct publishing i will talk to kindle direct publishing later but now I want just to show you where can you get these interior templates for free. And you can be able to write your book without any kind of uh, problem. So you click this one, the search results, which is the paperback manuscript templates. I click there. Then you'll find a lot of information here. So where do you go? Here they just give some more information, whatever. So forget about all this information. So you have to choose your templates. You come to part here where they say choose your templates. So choosing the template, there are two ways of downloading. There is a blank template and there is a formatted template, which is a sample template. So by blank, I will just go to download blank one and then you can see and then we can go to the other one so don't use the blank one and i will tell you why you cannot use the blank one so there are come with different languages let's say we are using the english one so then it comes different book sizes here so let's just open the first one it will be a hundred percent blank like that way so this is so when you write on this one the book will not exceed on these sides but don't use the blank one because it will confuse you and they will tell you once you go to see the uh 
you are going to see the uh, other one you can see what i mean by not using the uh blank one so you use the one with uh uh template uh template sample so this one then we open when we open uh, uh it will come there just one minute why is there only that way uh, and I will, I will be also talking about the these book sizes what does these book sizes mean because these book sizes will have a very big meaning uh into deciding wh which kind what size of the book do you want because if you are using the formatted version of one kind uh it means you know for sure uh which one you'll be able to uh to use so this is opening this is the one which is i'm opening now the one uh which are template with the sample content the formatted one they already uh pre-designed for that so we go again to the english and then we open the folder for english you will see what comes here let me uh so what you can see what comes here is a little bit uh there are different sizes five times eight 5.5 times 8.5 these are in inches remember i'm using but if you want to know the centimeters so five times eight is five inches five times five times eight inches so is uh width and length so and this one is in terms of centimeters if you want to use the metric system so that is the difference so it depends what size of the book do you want then you can choose the templates you wanted to use so if you want five times eight so this is the, this is the, the five times eight is the typical normal one or five times five point two five times eight so i want to show especially these two because i've used both of these one you see the difference before i go on so these are my two books as you can see uh, a loving father and this one is the two memoirs of the scholarship guy so i put them side by side so that you can be able to see so both of these one uh one is both uh this one the first one two memoirs is uh five by eight so five is this one and uh the coming down going down is eight but the other one is this one is 5.25 times eight so i want to show you the difference is a very tiny difference but it makes a very big uh so you see on at the end let's say if you put here you see they're all at the same uh same like this way but if you go to see uh on the width there is a tiny difference you see there is this tiny difference this one so this is the point uh this is 5.25 like which is increasing this is five times eight so you choose which one you prefer but after making the two books i prefer nowadays to use it five times eight that's me because i'm using i want to have simple books which you can be used to put in your pocket put in your just a little bit compared to have a bigger book so so let's open five times eight so this is five times eight so this is a formatted one which is already have uh things written on so it's just a t book title uh author's name it comes to copyright isbn you put dedication content uh book title whatever chapter one then it comes to chapter two so this when you write your your, your book here automatically this book will not go on the side there is nothing will go with exceeding on the sides so it will be a completely uh formatted to be able to fit into that kind so let me show you what you can be able to do so you come for instance like here so you come to write maybe a loving father then author's name let's say Augustine or whatever or Anthony James let's say like that way copyright you come to put here it is uh, maybe 2020 you are writing the book for 2020 then you put your name so everything is already uh, pre-designed for you but usually for me the education I come to write later but you can put the education here if you want uh, 
you come the uh, again table of content i write at the end i don't want to write them right now uh when it says uh when it is blank leave it blank if there is nothing here just leave it like that way so do, it's already pre-designed for that is the uh, uh modern books how they look like acknowledgement i come to put at the end then you come with a chapter one so chapter one maybe can be it can be let's say uh my childhood i'm giving example so if you have written your book somewhere you just copy and paste it here if you have written somewhere but if you have you haven't written your book I advise you to write your book basing on this one. So you just starting, uh, you type direct, you just writing direct from there. So if you, you have written and then this part left uh, to go to chapter two, you just come here, uh, you take it out, you just delete this one, and then chapter two. So that is where it ended. Then if 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 it goes to chapter two, chapter two is already coming. It will come down automatic. It is already designed, formatted specifically for that. So you go to chapter two, you write, keep going up to the end. So when you finish this one, you save this one. So I, I'll go to show you my uh, my book, which is full uh, two memoirs of the scholarship guy, written already. Uh, you can change the uh, the font, like I use a different one now here. You can see what happens. So author Ernest Bolfas Makulilo. Uh, the ISBN, whatever. I will talk about ISBN later. Where can you get for free? Uh, dedication to Faustina Marie Makulilo, my daughter. Uh, then, uh, kind of that. Acknowledgement. I came to write my acknowledgement there. Then, chapter one, the scholarship guy. Then, you just keep writing, 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 writing. So, nowadays, I don't write my book separately in another Microsoft way to move it here. Because after discovering using this, uh, uh, this one, I already type directly with this one. So when I finish, that is when I, I was with the uh, U.S. Ambassador in Tanzania, uh, Mark Green, uh, when I got a scholarship. Uh, so you just keep uh, writing direct, and this will be already. There is no nothing. If the book ends there, you come to another chapter, it goes without any particular problem. I believe up to that, we don't have any particular problem. So that is one on how it looks like. But... This is what I showed you is what we call a print proof. When it is, is going to be printed, you can see. And if on Amazon, any word is going to exceed, if the word is even one word exceeding here, Amazon will not print. They will tell you there is an error on what page number. You cannot be able to upload this uh, template. You cannot be able to up upload your book. I'll have a separate uh, video on how you can create your account on Amazon and how you can create a print proof all these things before you upload but this was the first stage to get the template yes so i don't know if you have any question or you thought it will be very very difficult but this is how you can make your book uh you need to have templates the interior template many people they go to uh uh, to the publishers, publishers charge them a lot of money. Or there are certain companies they give the service on how they can format your book to have a proper template. But what they do is this is what I was explaining. They squeeze your book to the book size you you want. But as you can see here, it's up to you. What kind of book size do you want? You want the uh, book size? What do you want? You want big, small, whatever you you want. It will be already here. You can see you have all these kind of book sizes. It's up to you. Which one do you want to see, or which one do you want to use? So it is very simple. Everything is already there for free. Is just go ahead and use. But the first thing before you start choosing, uh, uh, start typing, choose the template. Uh, the book sizes like do you want to use 5 times 8 5.2 5 times 8 5.5 times 8.5 what book size do you want to use and the book sizes uh how do you choose your book size is mostly about uh mostly about uh, is it a novel or is it a textbook that makes a difference so you choose basing on those kind like you do you want someone is to read this book for leisure or is it a serious book if it's a book for leisure it can be like a novel wise smaller is better yeah so many people they are going to the book uh uh to uh 
people are uh, into the publishing they are going to do this one for them but you have to pay so that's why we call self publishing that means you do everything you do a lot of things which a publisher can charge you in order to do your job so for instance this one is a free template on how you can squeeze your book how you can put your book into proper formatting interior templates the book to fit into the perfect uh, sizes you want but also you don't need uh, someone else to use the money to pay the money so that you can do that thing for you you don't need to be high technological high tech person to be able to do this one you can make it simple and do things on your own uh, i believe up to that moment we are together on the uh the templates interior templates on book writing so here is just a proof to make sure that my book is good to go and i approved and that is when i came to have this one two memoirs of the scholarship guy as you can see that is the book itself i'll come later to explain the difference between these two you see this one is white pages but this one is like a cream a little bit khakish so the difference between this one uh when you, when you choose what kind of paper do you want do you want the cream one or the white one that one changes the price you'll be using the cost of printing will be differing bit, bit, it, among all those kind of papers you'll be able to use so if you have any question about interior templates you have any question about self-publishing please write your comment here if you have any challenge and if you use this one and you are good to go I'll be uh, I'll be happy to share with you and at the description of this video I'm going to put the link I'm going to put this link direct this link where you can download these free templates direct you can go you don't need to start typing create a space interior tip. you just go to this link and you just download it right away and start writing your book as I said make sure 2020 is your year to write the book just write a simple book don't you think about how much money you are going to make don't think about you are going to be the best seller write a book for your children write the book for your family just to leave a legacy if you die today so thank you thank you everyone remember to subscribe to my channel and remember to share this video and watch the suggested video on at the end of this one so thank you everyone and goodbye